Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Antwerp have chosen to go 4-3-3. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. So what now? Romario. Forward it goes. Looks to clip it forward. He's made certain that won't get through. Park. It's a brilliant interception. Batistuta. Plays it forward. Plays it out to the wing. He's got options out wide. Romario. Batistuta. like a good ball through cuts it out Cafu well the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams behind oh look I don't want to sound too dismissive but from here that looks the harder thing to do but it's not been a bad game by any means. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time.
Whistle goes, and we start the second half. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Cafu. Ronaldo. He's left his man. And Ronaldo! What a wonderful goal! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. He's out on the left now. That looks a good ball. Carries far too far and out of play. Over to the left. From Mario, Roberto Carlos, the ball through. From Mario to get on the end of this. Roberto Carlos, here's the cross. Knocks it away. Now the counter. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Chip through. You can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. He checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. This isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Looking for a decent ball in. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Going through. Has a swing at it! Roberto Carlos tries to get it forward quickly. He's made sure that that won't get through. Aimed long and direct. Tries to dink it in. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Belts one. Should have equalised. Well, the lead may be fragile, but the keeper was focused and strong. Goes for goal. Really well taken goal. Unbelievable. And with the match slipping away, they have hauled themselves off the canvas. Wonderfully done. Chris Pitt, true finish. Well, most of those go high and wide because of their difficulty. He made it look like he does it every day.
So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Antwerp opting to make a double change here. That has certainly made things interesting. Antwerp surely know by now that they've put so much work into producing the equaliser that they'll battle on for a winner. You know, it's, it's all one way. Is it in? And he can pounce on that. It's in! And you can't but admire that from a player from whom we expect to come to the fore at crucial, crucial moments. Doing it, however, is another matter, and his influence just grows and grows. Ronaldo did well there. He was on to it in a choice. Yeah, his instinct told him that the keeper would struggle to cope with that, so top marks for him following up. I think uh, it's really sharp play, it's well read, and he was a little quicker than everybody else. making the last of his changes well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake i think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it i think that's happened in this case listen when it comes to goals peter in this team he's all there is the final whistle antwerp played a big part in it but they walk away with nothing how do you look back on the game then jim antwerp were brave in standing up to much fancied opponents and this can be a real source of confidence